Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Ashley Rowe. Funneling money, fancy trips and million dollar payoffs. Just a few of the reasons behind the New York Attorney General's move to dissolve the National Rifle Association. The nonprofit organization was founded back in 1871 as a governing body for the sport of shooting with rifles and pistols. By the early 21st century, it claimed a membership of nearly 5 million target shooters, hunters, gun collectors, gunsmiths, police, and other gun enthusiasts. The AG claiming the group's leaders have spent cash reserves on personal items and violated tax tax laws by falsely claiming nonprofit status. The group lost more than $63 million in three years. And now, as Madison Carter explains, Letitia James is taking action to end it. No one is above the law, not even the NRA, one of the most powerful organizations in this country. New York Attorney General Letitia James acknowledged the power of the organization she filed suit against in a broad news conference this morning. She names the NRA and four members specifically, the executive director, former treasurer and CFO, former chief of staff, and the organization's secretary. The organization went unchecked for decades while top executives funneled millions into their own pockets. James is calling for four actions in the civil suit, restitution and penalties, removal of leadership, barring of the defendants from holding positions on nonprofit boards in the state, and the dissolution of the entire organization. She says this is a necessary step. Because the corruption was so broad and because of the level of waste and because they have basically um, destroyed all of the assets of uh, the corporation. While the NRA operates out of Northern Virginia, it's been registered as a nonprofit in New York since it was founded in the 19th century, giving the New York AG jurisdiction over this investigation. She says this move is not politically motivated. This was an investigation that started in 2019 until this day. It's based on the facts. We follow the facts and the law. But the NRA bucked against that in their response to her suit, saying in part, this investigation was going to reach its crescendo as we move into the 2020 election cycle. It's a transparent attempt to score political points and attack the leading voice in opposition to the leftist agenda. It went on to say, we will not shrink from this fight. We will confront it and prevail. Sweetie, President Trump is also weighing in on Twitter, are. tweeting, just like radical Such left New York is trying to destroy the NRA, you know exactly if Biden becomes president, here, your great rights. Second Amendment doesn't and have a chance. The AG's office in New York State can only handle civil matters when it comes to nonprofits, but it says if criminal charges are warranted or uncovered in this ongoing investigation, those would be referred to the Manhattan DA. Madison Carter, 7 Eyewitness News.